On today's episode, we'll show you the completed roll cage, these beautiful new Recaro SPG seats, Takata Race 6 harnesses, and Buddy Club seat rails. And we're going to install it all in record time. All right, so we got the car back from Pat and his guys at Sirius Garage Work. They finished our new cage and uh, our buddy Ken actually painted it and clear coated it for us. So thank you for that. Um, so let's just quickly run down what we've done differently. For starters, the door bars are much lower and simpler. They're actually about eight inches lower and it makes it just much easier to get in and out of the car here. Main hoop, as we talked about before, has been moved it back uh, close to a foot actually. So that gives us a lot more clearance as, as driver and co-driver from the cage structure itself, so it's better for safety. This also fits much tighter up around the roof structure, so it's just a better fitting cage. It's also lighter. We, we think we took about 50 pounds of weight out of the car just by using a simpler cage design. All right, so this is a Recaro Profi SPG. It's one of Recaro's more affordable racing seats, but it's by no means inexpensive. It's very high quality construction. And a few of the features that I like most about it are the fire retardant uh, black velour seat covers and these high grip areas in the shoulder that really prevent you from sliding side to side in corners. Uh, I should also point out that the shell is made of fiberglass reinforced plastic and the whole seat only weighs 14 pounds so it's very lightweight. One of the other features I really like are the pass-throughs for the harnesses are actually screwed in so they're very secure. I've had other lesser seats that these kind of flopped around and it was it felt chintzy so all in all, really high quality seats, fit in the FRS very well by the way, and they should work great for Targa. We've just finished installing both Profi SPG Recaro seats, and right now we've run into an issue where we had to go back to use the Recaro seat rails on this side because of the actual factory seat mounts were removed when the previous roll cage was put in, and that's caused a bit of a problem because we can't use the factory seat mounts to mount the Buddy Club super low seat rails in here. And as you can see, I actually have an issue here in terms of head clearance, and it's fine right now, but once you get a helmet in here, it's going to be way too high. So, But if you look on the passenger side, the passenger side actually has been put in with the Buddy Club seat rails. Unfortunately, this is going to have to go back to Pat Sear at Sirius Garage Works. He's going to have to cut this portion of the, uh, the seat mount out here and lower it down for us and fix it and make it proper. As you can see, the seating position on this side is much lower thanks to the Buddy Club seat rails that were mounted to the stock seating position. That's what makes these rails so convenient. They bolt up with zero modification and have plenty of adjustment to set them up to your liking. The seat rails Recaro sent us are actually FIA approved, so for a full-blown race car, they're the way to go. However, for a street car, or in our case, a target car where FIA approval isn't required, then the Buddy Club rails are a perfect affordable option. We've also installed these Takata six-point race harnesses that feature a two-inch shoulder strap for Hans devices. Where Takata excels is their webbing construction and technology. It uses only polyester, which doesn't absorb moisture, ensuring that the performance of the belts is always consistent. I have to say that Takata harnesses are some of the easiest and simplest belts to buckle in and out of. The cam lock is smooth, precise, and we all know that in the event of an accident, every split second counts. As for installation, the anti-submarine belts need to be mounted 20 degrees back, so be sure to place the anchor bolts slightly behind the torso area of the seat. The lap belts should be mounted approximately at a 60 degree angle, while the shoulder belts cannot exceed 20 degrees. There's also a wrapping procedure that Takata outlines for the roll bar installation, so make sure you follow that to a T. Fart does stink. Perfect. Oh god. I can't work in these conditions. This is a hostile work environment. Okay, so we're done installing the Recaro SPG seats and Takata harnesses, and now we're going to have a little race to see who can get in and strapped in faster. Slim and trim Peter, or fat and fluffy Dave? I don't know, Dave, I think you've got the big bear power, so you might have a lot of determination. Uh, the flexibility issues getting in over the cage may not work so well for me, but let's find out. I got the stopwatch here. I'll give you the on your marks, get set, go. You ready? I'm ready, let's do this. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, yeah! Casual, no sense. Look at this, I'm just booking Let's through go, here. Let's go, buddy. Come on, step up. Uh-oh, we got trouble. Oh, we yeah, trouble. yeah, a little fumbly. I like to see it. A little fumble there. He's looking nervous. Done. Stop. 19 seconds, 0.65. It's not a bad time. That isn't bad. 
not a bad time let's, at all. Uh, let's see how the fat boy does. 19.65 all right. seconds. Okay, let's... Uh, all right, graceful like a gazelle. Now it's the gorilla's turn. That's right. Are you ready? I am so ready. Perfect. Good luck with the beating my time. No, it's not gonna happen. But in three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> I'm stuck already. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, get your feet in there. Get your feet in there. All right. Oh, oh, you're close, you're close. Oh, 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 get out of there. Oh, I'm stuck on my shirt. Oh, I'm 24.7 oh. seconds. That's still not bad, my friend. Uh, it was the whole For a big gentleman like you, it uh, works. Get feet in there. And, uh, well, well, I'm, I'm still rusty, impressed. Peter. I'm rusty, what can I tell you? I'm impressed. I'm gonna lose 20 pounds and we're gonna have another competition. Done. I like the challenge. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm going on the PT diet. All right. It's nothing but protein shakes and raw vegetables. Dave fumbling out of the FRS officially wraps this episode. But tune in to the next one where we face off in another challenge and while doing so, upgrade the suspension and brakes with some serious hardware.